Hey YouTube, welcome back to our channel Love and Trucking It, where you are hanging out with your girl, Pretty Ty, and Fly Guy. So tonight it's just me, Pretty Ty, and I am um, in the midst of studying for my CDL. So we told you this channel is going to be primarily about us um, and our adventure trucking it, right? We haven't gotten our license. We're aspiring truckers, and we are in the process of getting of getting our license. So we're getting ready to go to school. Uh, we are actually studying for our CDL permit right now, and so I was studying tonight, and along with doing laundry, and um, I got to this section called uh, CDL disqualifications and how you can lose your license and that type of thing. And I was reading the serious traffic violations and I really, really, really got like present to myself experiencing some truckers committing these serious traffic violations. So some of the traffic viola serious traffic violations are excessive speeding, like speeding, doing 15 miles over the speeding speed limit. Um, improper lane changing or erratic lane changing and driving too closely to other vehicles like those are you know serious uh, traffic violations and you committing them more than once and getting caught committing them can cause you to lose your license for either a certain amount of times or for for life so as i was reading them i was thinking to myself hey i've experienced this i've experienced truckers driving way too close to my tail I've experienced, just the other day, I've experienced a trucker where they were just, they just cut off in the lane. It was like they, they literally cut a car off. The car had to beep his horn to like, hey, you know, I was right here. It was, it was, it was really quite scary. Um, and my question out there is, how on earth can you do it? Like, I, I do understand, I think I understand that you can do it unintentionally. But I don't know, because I think with myself driving, just thinking about myself driving, and I'll be very cautious to make sure that I'm not cutting anybody off. I don't even really want to change lanes, right, that much. I don't even think it's necessary. But um, so I just want to know, like, how comfortable are you in, like, to do this, to commit these violations? Like, does it happen over anger, some type of emotion that comes over you, like the car is going too slow or they've cut you off? How on earth can you do this as a trucker? And then for the for you guys who don't truck, have you ever experienced a trucker doing any of these, uh, committing any of these violations? Have you ever seen it? So let me know, let me know. It really tripped me out. And I'm sure as I go through this book, I'll find more things that are like, oh, are you kidding me? In fact, the other day we were, um, my husband and I were driving and he was saying, uh, we passed a truck and there were absolutely no hazard cones out or any cones or nothing. They were just sitting on the side of the road. He was like, you know, they're supposed to have out um, like hazard material to let you know that they're there. Something to, to that flags you to let you know that they're there. Um, and it was just amazing. So like as you're reading and studying these books, the things that you find out is like, wow, you know, kind of amazing. And just you become present to it when you're out there on the road. I actually have a, sort of a, a, another level of respect for truckers now. So like if I'm out there, I used to get annoyed by being behind them because you can't see over them um, or even being beside them. But now I'm very, I'm not annoyed at all. I will actually let truckers over and I would help them, you know, um, just have more respect, I guess, because you want to be one and, you know, studying for it and you just want to be in that lifestyle. You just have more of a respect. But pretty cool. I'm so far. I'm enjoying studying. Um, I not a person who likes to take tests, but this one's gonna be okay. Um, I haven't. I'm just starting to read the book. I started studying probably a week or so, a week and a half ago, and the way I do it is I would actually go online and take a practice test before I even started reading the book, and I got myself very engaged in the test. So I would try to answer it you know when you don't answer it right the right answer comes up and it tells you why it's the answer and so that would engage me and then it, there would be some that I would like look up in the book I would look up the answers in the book to, to try to get the answer to see if I could answer it right 
And so that was engaging. And for me, it was action and I did it better. So now as I am reading the book, it's much easier. I know pretty much what I'm not what I'm. Yeah, I, I mean, I know what I'm reading more so than just blindly picking up the book and just start reading that I would not retain anything um, doing it that way. So got myself engaged and then I started now I'm reading the book. So hopefully we'll go take our test um, next week. And of course, we'll let you in on that. Um, and you know, I don't know, but I'm not quite sure because we are starting school November 25th and, um, we can take it there. So, um, or take it when we start school, but I really want to take it before I want to have it before. So we'll see. <laughs> Pardon me. Pretty late at night, but I'm gonna do some more reading, but just let me know. Comment in the comment section. Let me know. Hey, and like and subscribe our page. Um, join our community and um, watch us as we go on this journey to trucking it as a couple. All right? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Love and trucking it. <laughs>